Hi, good evening and welcome to Stay Fit with Joy. I'm going to give it a few moments for everybody to find that post and then we're going to get started and discuss what we're doing today. But as always, this is our Monday night, 7 o'clock, so we've got our HIIT boot camp ready to go. Make sure that you have your weights, make sure that you have a mat. We're going to be alternating today between um, standing and grounded circuits and I'll repeat that in a second for once everybody starts to come on. Um, and we're going to be doing standing work and grounded work. So you want to have your mat available to you. You don't have to have it on the floor right now. I will let you know when we're going into those grounded circuits. We'll be alternating between the standing and the grounded. And you'll also see I have a guest with me today. This is our family member. Her name is Jessica and she's really into um, fitness as well. So I'm excited to have her here with me. She's going to do the workout and Brooke is over there in the kitchen. She's doing it as well. So we've got a couple people joining me. We also have some spectators over there doing absolutely nothing, but they're going to watch us. <laughs> so um, again, what you're going to need today, we've got our hip boot camp. You're going to want your weights. If you have different weights to interchange between, make sure you have them available to you. We also are going to want to have our mat. Again, you don't have to necessarily have it on the floor. I will tell you when you're going to need it. We'll be alternating again between those standing and those grounded circuits. We have two exercises per circuit, so we're basically doing some supersets. Um, we're going to be doing weighted and cardio, and then on the floor, we're going to be doing weighted and body weight exercises, okay? So basically, we're going to be alternating between using weights and not using weights for those supersets as well, okay? First thing we need to do is warm it up, so let's get that body going. Marching out right and left, standing up nice and tall. Get those shoulders down, retract back, engage that center. Right and left. This is your opportunity to warm up the body, the muscles, and the joints. Eight, seven, six, five, let's go four, three, two. Take that march out wide, wide march. Eight more times, let's go eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. March it back in for eight, six, four, three, two. Let's take it wide for eight, four, three, two. March it in, four. Take it wide for four. March it in for four. Take it wide for four. Let's hold it wide and squat it. Bend the knees and bend the elbows. Push that bottom back. Get the weight to the heels of the feet, but keep those feet nice and flat. Open chest. Bend and extend for two more. Now down to up for two. Take it down, slow, and up. Three more times, then we'll pick back up that speed. Two more nice and slow. Down and up. One more time. Down, let's pick up that speed, four, eight. Then from here, we're gonna step back, right and left, and reach it overhead. In four more, in three, in two. Let's step back, right and left, let's reach. Step it in, reach, step it in. You can simply tap the back, or step and bend as you reach it overhead. Keep it here. Eight more times, then back to a wide squat as you interlock the fingers behind that head or loosen behind those ears. You've got four, three, two. Take it wide, let's interlock here or loosen here. Either way, open the chest, squeeze, and retract the back. Four more times. Four, press it up. Three, press it up. Two, Release those hands, wide march, right and left. Four, three, two, march it in to a narrow march. Four, three, two, take it wide for four. March it in for four. Take it wide for four. March it in four. Take it wide and hold. Hands on those thighs and hinge forward, flat back. Let's hold and roll it up halfway. Stretch that spine. Take that flat back down. Roll it all the way up. Allow that head to come up last. And roll the shoulders back. First two exercises. You're going to grab those 
swing first, squat and curl. So it's going to look like this. As you squat, you curl. Rock, squat, and curl. Get your weights out of your way. And we are starting it strong with burpees. Okay, with that hop if you can, step it back and just simply reach or come to your toes if you don't want to hop it up. You do not have to do a push-up, okay? You're just going to come into that plank, back up, and either hop or come to your toes, okay? 30 seconds, squat curl, 30 seconds burpees, 10 seconds in between for the transition time, okay? In three, two, and go. You're on that clock, squat and curl. So as you squat, you're curling it up. Drop, squat, and curl. There you go. Good. Down. As you curl, you're rotating and you're sitting into that squat. Good. Keep that chest open. Watch that core. Keep those feet flat. Not too wide on that squat. You want to do that hip to shoulder with the core for this one. Weights come outside and then up for that curl. Good. Take those weights now. Now make sure they're out of your way for those burpees. You got five more seconds before it starts. 10 seconds seems like a lot in the beginning, but you're gonna want those 10 seconds as we progress. Let's go. Right there, 30 seconds of burpees. Now again, remember, if you can't come down, simply tap it up and come to your toes. Step it back into that plank, reach it to your toes and just come up and down. Or go for those hops and those jumps. Back and into that plank position. We're starting strong with that cardio right here. Good, this is where you're gonna want those 10 seconds. Start to grab those weights. Get ready, feet hip shoulder to the part. We're gonna squat, drop, and curl. Go. Set number two. Remember, you got four of everything today. Make sure you're breathing out there. Get that breath. That's going to help you through. Get that last one in. Get those weights down. Make sure they're out of your way. Got those burpees any way you want to do them. Five seconds. Three, two, and go. On that clock for those burpees. Good. Keep going, guys. Coming in. I see you guys there. Hi. Work through it, you've got this. Step back, hop back, or hop up, come to your toes. Again, whatever you can do. Find what works for you in the moment you're in. You can change it anytime. Good, finish up that last one. Catch your breath, grab your weights. You got step number three. Squat, drop, and curl. Shoulders down, back. Breathe and go. We are going strong right out of that gate, guys.
Good. Weights down. One more set of burpees. Getting that intensity up. That's what this one's designed for. Second exercise. Get that intensity up. Go for it. Any way you can. With or without the hops. Stepping back or tapping back without even coming down, right? I'm gonna get some water. So I'm ready to show you. The next two exercises coming up because you're done with that circuit after this. So keep going. Awesome, Jess, keep it up. You got eight seconds left, and then you can get some water. Five, three, two, and one. Go get some water, you're gonna restart that clock. All right, watch me, we're coming to the floor. First exercise, you have your weights. So you come up and go again. All right, we're gonna start our weights down here. We're gonna sit it up, rotate and press, and come back down. So it's gonna look like that, okay? Then, we're gonna rotate over into what we call a bear pose. Bear pose, all fours, but we hover the knees. We're gonna do a tricep press, bring that nose towards the ground, walk those feet in and out of that bear pose. Now modified, of course, you can stay on those knees and walk it in and out from there. Okay, and just press it from there, okay? All right, on your back, with those weights in hand, you're ready to sit up, rotate and press up from those shoulders. In three, two, and go, you're in it. Sit up, rotate and press. Use those abs and use those shoulders right here. Get one more in. Take those weights down. You've got 10 seconds. This is where you're going to want that time to transition. All fours, get ready to hover the knees if you can. If not, stay on all fours. Hover. Then just the elbows, bringing that forehead towards the floor. Walk the hands in and out. Use the back of those arms. Total strength right here. Get those weights in position, get ready to sit it up and press it up. Rotate into that press if you can. Go! If you can't come all the way up, just give me that little crunching press. All the way if you can. Keep them down if you need, hover, and go. At any point if you need, and it's getting tired for me, I'm gonna come to my knees and get my press right there. Good, and take it onto your backs. Set your position. Get ready to crunch it or press it and sit it all the way up. So you see that work, step it out and in, on the knees, right here, go for it. Okay. 
All right, let's do it one more time. Last and final step right here. We're coming back to our feet. Get ready to sit it up and press it up. Go. Okay? Hang in there. You have some time left. 15 seconds right here. Keep going, guys. You got this. You're back on your feet in a moment. Hang in there. I feel the burn in my arms. I know you do too. There you go. Forehead towards the floor. Come on up. Awesome work. Good. Get some water. Towel down. Breathe. And we're resetting that clock. All right, watch me. I'm going lighter for these five pound weights, okay? You're going to step into your lunge and rattle and raise from there, alternate that leg that comes behind you. If you can't lunge, just give me a staggered stance and then switch that staggered stance, okay? Weights are gonna go out of the way and then you got lateral movement here, okay? So we're gonna go into a low lunge, reach into the inside that foot right here. Drive the knee up, push to the other side. Reach the knee inside that foot into that nice big runner's lunge, okay? And then get that lateral movement right into that runner's lunge on the other side, okay? Every time you pull up, you get that knee up, and you push, and you reach. All right, let's start with those lighter weights for that lunge, lateral raise. I'm just gonna move this mat out of the way. Jet set. And go, you're in it for three sets, guys. Hold your lunge, lateral raise, come up and switch, other side. Keep that body upright, make sure you're not leaning forward. You should be centered between those feet. Try to bring that back knee down towards that floor. Make sure the weights are out of the way. Okay, so remember, we're gonna start right here in that low lunge, like you're reaching to the inside of that foot. Okay, you're gonna pull that leg up and push. Low lunge right here. And then push to the other side. Can you do it that way, maybe? You can face together. Is that, yeah. Then I think you get that big push and lunge. Push it, lunge and reach for the inside of that foot, extending that leg behind you. Nice power move as you take it from one side to the other. Grab your light weights. Shoulders down and back, good posture, right? Good form. And go, step back. We rise it up, we step it in.
Good. Let's grab those light weights. Set number three. Coming up. Shoulders down back. Breathe. Let's go. Lunge hold. Lateral raise. And switch. Almost there, guys. Come on. Motivate yourself. You got this. Good. All right, let's go. You want that nice big again. Runner's lunge to start. And then we drive that knee up. Push it. Runner's lunge on the other side. Reach the inside of that foot. Back to that renegade row push up. 
Stay here on all fours if you need, okay? Four, into that plank position. Drop to your knees, one push up. to lift and balance on that belly. Hands up, legs up. Reach forward, pull it back. Lift into that single down dog. Switch that leg that comes up. forward, pull back, press it up, lift that leg up. You guys are staying right there. Stay right there. Hang in there, guys. I know it's tough today, but you got this. Move through the best that you can. Okay, take it one thing at a time. If you need to just do the reaches, just do the reaches and omit that single leg down dog. All right, guys, you are exactly halfway there. Come on up and get some water. We're gonna reset that clock. All right, I'm gonna continue. Actually, we're gonna grab one heavy weight. So I'm gonna grab the 10. Now you're gonna take one 10 dip. Okay. All right, so we're gonna take those toes out. We wanna have about a 45 degree angle for a wide squat. We're gonna take it down. Rise that weight up, bend and extend behind that head. Okay, so it's gonna look just like this. Then we're gonna take that weight down and watch me. We're gonna take a long jump and take a few knees back so you can get that long jump back in. High knees, okay? Now if that's too much, you can take a big step forward and jog it back. Big step forward instead of that jump and jog it back. Okay, try to get those knees up as high as you can as you take it back. Whatever knees it takes you to get enough room for that nice long jump, okay? 
Grab your weight, we're gonna start with that wide squat. Now we're gonna swing up with control. Take it behind our head and back down. In three, in two, and one. Let's go, you're on that clock. So wide squat down, rise it up, bend and extend, back down, and we squat once the weight comes up. So you gotta really tuck that tummy in as that weight moves up and as it moves back down. Awesome work, guys. Good, get that last one in. Make sure that weight is out of your way. Back up to where you have room for that long jump and those high knees back. In three, in two, and go. Jump forward, high knees back. Come on guys, long jump it, 
high knee back, just like that. Come on, you got it. We got a common show with the spectators over here. I wish you guys could see. Woohoo! The spectator section over here. All right, get some water, guys. You're gonna watch me. Oh my god, for your next and final set. I am not kidding when I say comedy show over here. <laughs> While we're sweating our little booties off. All right, watch me. Your arms are coming up. The bottom is coming up, we're rotating into a cross, and we're coming back down. All right, that's your first exercise. Watch me for your second. We're going for side plank, jack it. Alternate that side plank in between each jack, okay? All right, you put your head that way, I'll put my head this way, so we're opposite of the jack. Got it. All right, so you're starting here. Come up, rotate, press, and back down in three, two, and go. You're on that clock. Lift that booty, rotate, press. So we're here, arms stay up the entire time. Watch right here. Come up, rotate, press, and back up, and lower down. Arms up and over those shoulders as you move through that bridge. There you go. You're gonna hold that booty up as you rotate and cross. Good, make sure your weights are out of the way from your plank jack. Get set, strong position. Rotate into it, plank jack. Rotate to the other side, plank jack. Now remember, you can come to your knees if you need for that side plank. Okay? You can be on those knees to jack it from and rotate into it. Okay? Remember your modifications. You can even tap it side to side and then rotate into that side plank. So remember, whatever you need to do, come on down. Weights start up here. We're going to lift those hips up, rotate for us, and lower those hips back down. Squeeze those glutes as you rotate through that chest press. Get that last one in. Lower your arms down. Nice and easy. Make sure they're out of the way. Side plank into that jack. From your knees or from your
All right, one more set. In position, lift, rotate, cross, and drop it. Yes, guys, almost there. Your last and final set here. Get that last rep in. Finish it. And let's go. Right into our side plank jack to finish out that circuit. We got this, guys. Come on. In position. Side plank jack it. You guys stay right there. I'm getting set to show you your next two moves. You only got two more circuits left, guys. One more standing, one more grounded, and you are done. So power through it, guys. We got this. Here it goes, your last five seconds. And go get some water. One, two, three, curtsy. One, two, three, curtsy back. 
So as that knee comes up, that counts as one. One, two, three. One, two, three. Grab those legs for set number three. Make sure you got room on both sides. Side lunge, high pull. Weights out of that way. So if I'm starting on this side, I'm going that way. Curtsy. One more set, guys. And you're standing as fast as you're done after this. One more grounded circuit, and we are done. Side lunge, high pull. lunge back. Drive those knees up. There you go, Jess. Work those legs. Work that cardio. Work that coordination and that balance. Lateral movement. All right. Get some water. Towel down. And let's see what that final circuit is going to bring you. All right. All right, we're going to come down on our knees, feet together, and our knees are going to be separated a little bit. Our toes are going to be down, so laces into the floor. We're going to sit into a kneeling squat with the arms up. We're going to pull it in, twist, reach it out as we sit down, pull it in, and get a twist. Reach it out, that's where you sit. Pull it in and twist, okay? And then we're going to come into a side plank on the knee on the forearm. Arms up. We're going to get a little reach through and then lift that leg up and swing it over to the other side. Now we're going to change that leg every set, okay? All right, so we're going to get that weight. And remember, as we sit, we extend out, pull in, and twist, okay? So we're up at that chest. So we're going to sit first and extend those arms out in three, two, and go. You're on that clock. Sit and extend, pull up, twist to the right, extend, sit, twist to the left.
and come on up. Um, notice when you spin together and we slightly apart. Remember, we come down first and we extend and lengthen out in front of us.
Low down, and wherever that ankle is crossed, that foot is going to come towards that floor right here. Open up those arms and look at the opposite hand. There you go. Good. And rotate back to the center. Hug both knees in. We're going to release that right leg and extend that left leg up as we rotate the ankle to that opposite leg. Other direction. And center, flex and point that foot. And then you're going to flex and hold. Release that, release that left hand and reach for the toes. Take that ankle, place it onto the opposite leg, and hug that. time working out with my girls here today. I hope you had a great time working out with me at home. Thank you again for joining me. And remember, we have kickboxing tomorrow at 11 a.m. And of course, every Monday we'll have our 7 o'clock hit boot camp. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget that you can always come back to this page and you can find it on videos anytime, anywhere. Save it, share it if you enjoyed it that much. And I will also be making sure that I upload it to my YouTube channel. So it will be there for you as well sometime next week. I'm going to upload all of last week's this week. So you'll get those coming soon. And then these will be on there by next week as well. Okay. okay. Awesome job. Thank you so much for joining me and have a wonderful rest of your night. Bye-bye until tomorrow.